Good afternoon. My name is George Crump. I'm the electrical technology instructor here at Kansas City, Kansas Community College in the Technical Education Center. Today I'm going to be speaking about service interest cable as well as the other conductors that you have in your home to provide the electrical energy to all the various appliances and pieces of equipment that you have in your residence. And so I'm going to start over here with the service interest cable. This particular piece of cable right here is quite big and it has three conductors. It has a bare copper and this one in, for this example is aluminum. Aluminum is much cheaper than the copper when it comes to the service interest cable. So we got this uh, four out aluminum for 200 amp service and we have two hot legs to take care of the 240 volts. One here and the other one you can't see which is down behind the cable right here but they're all encased in this uh, enclosure right here. This is what hooks to the utility service lines when they come from the utility pole over to the weather head. And then it goes down to the meter can, through the meter, and down into the circuit breaker panel. And in this case, it'll be a 200 amp circuit breaker panel for this size of cable. Now, over on this side over here, we will start down here at the bottom and talk about the various types of conductors that are sometimes used in the home for various types of applications. For example, down here at the very bottom we have a very light small wire which is about 18 to 22 gauge as it relates to the American wire gauge which is what we use in the industry to determine the actual wire size, the American wire gauge. This is 18 to 22 and most of this wire down here is used for communications some of it will be used for your HVAC system in terms of your 24 volts that goes to your condensing unit by way of the thermostat as a control. Other pieces of communication wire will be used for the doorbell system in your home, which is 16 volts. And then the third would be for internet service, which is a CAT6 cable or a CAT5 cable. Then going up the row here, we have 14.2 with the ground. This is used for all the circuitry in your home that uses 15 amps or less. You have a black wire, which is your hot wire, and then you have a white wire, which is called the common, and some people refer to it as the neutral, and then you have a bare wire, which is the copper wire, which is your ground. And they designate this, when you go to buy it, as 14.2 with the ground. The next one up from the 14.2 with the ground is a 14.3 with the ground. This is where you have three conductors in the cable and a ground. Where you would use three conductor with the ground is when you have three-way switches in your home. You have the one hot and then you have the two travelers that travel between the three-way switches which I talked about on a previous video. And that allows you to turn the lights on and off in two locations in your home by having this 14-2 hooked up between the two three-ways. Then we have from the 14 gauge wire we're going to go up to the number 12 gauge wire. The number 12 gauge wire will carry 20 amps in your home. And the 20 amps is usually a circuit for your refrigerator, a circuit for your microwave. In other words, a garbage disposal. Some of your heavier appliances that pull a heavier load will be on a number 12, which will carry 20 amps. The number 12 that I'm pointing to here is a single strand of number 12. And then I have right above it in the yellow the yellow is a designation for number 12. When you buy the Romex type of Roman number 12, it's a yellow color and it'll have 12-2 with the ground or 12-3 with the ground. Seldom will you find the 12-3 because most people will use the 14-3. But the 12-2 with the ground will have a black wire for your hot, a white wire for your neutral or common, and then a bare wire which would be for your ground. Then we go up from number 12 to number 10 conductor. Number 10 conductor, and this is a single strand of number 10, is good to carry 30 amps in your home. The 30 amps would be for your dryer, your electric dryer. It would be for your air conditioning system. And any other appliances that's going to pull over 24 amps of power to make that machine run properly you will use number 30, but not more than 30 amps, okay? Then from number 10, we go to number eight. Number eight, you're getting up into a much higher amperage. It's gonna carry approximately 40 amps, depending on the designation in terms of how the 
conductor is on the actual con uh, outside covering. If it's a THHN number eight, which is another designation, it's gonna carry greater than 40 amps. It sometimes carry 45 to 48 and maybe 50 if it's in a cool environment. And then from number eight, we go to number six. Number six gauge wire is gonna carry 55 amps. And that would be for probably in your home if you have it, an electric stove. Your electric stove sometimes pulls somewhere between 40, 45, and 50 amps of power depending on how many of the elements are being energized on the stove. And then from number six, we're gonna go up to number four gauge. The number four gauge, as you can see, carries 70 amps. And it's a much bigger cable in terms of conductor. And practically on this particular cable, seldom do I see this being used in a home unless the individual has a welding machine of some sort that will pull that high of an amperage. So most of the others that I'm gonna speak about above number four gauge are gonna be primarily for industrial applications of some type of machinery that pulls a heavier load. The next one up from number four is number two gauge, and these are all copper conductors. And this number two gauge AWG pulls approximately 95 amps. And then from number two, you're gonna go up to 125, which is a one aught cable. So the one aught simply means that the circular mills on it is much bigger in size. And the one aught pulls 125 amps. Then from one aught, you go to two aught, which pulls 145 amps. And then from the two aught, you'll go to the three aught, which pulls 350 amps. And then the four aught in copper will pull approximately 400 amps. Those are all the various types of conductors that are typically used but when you get beyond this number eight, anything beyond number eight is gonna either be service interest cable or some heavy uh, mechanical appliance such as a welding machine or something of that nature in a workshop. Everything from number eight down is typically used in your residence. Earlier I spoke about the various Romex uh, conductors. On the table before you is the yellow, yellow colored Romex, which is a number 12 gauge. What I'm gonna do now is go over the information that you'll see on the actual Romex. If you look right here at the very beginning, it has Encore Wire Corporation, who is the manufacturer of this particular Romex. And then right next to it, it has a de designation of 12 slash three. That stands for number 12 gauge wire, which is good for 20 amps. And there are three conductors in this particular Romex cable. And then the WG says with ground, which is the bare wire. And then the type is NM, which stands for non-metallic. And then it's rated for up to 600 volts. And if you look beyond the 600 volts, you'll see the UL, which all of the manufacturers in the United States usually have their equipment and materials measured by the underwriter's lab. That's what the UL stands for. And then it also has right here the date that it was manufactured, which was on the 3rd of June in the year 2013. And if you look real close, you can also see a time that it went through the, the process of being made. In continuing on with the conductors, this is a number 10 gauge, which is usually, is always orange, bright orange in color to designate number 10. Number 10 gauge AWG wire is good for 30 amps. And at the end of the wire, or every 12 inches on this cable, you can see the manufacturer's name, which is Encore Wire Corporation. And then it'll have number 10, which is the gauge of the wire. And in this case, it has two conductors. And then it has a WG4 with ground. And the type on this is a NM, just like the number 12, which means non-metallic outer covering. And it's rated for 600 volts which was tested by the UL, which says the underwriter's lab. And this particular cable was manufactured on the 17th day of October in the year of 2013.